What's up everybody? It's your girl Tristan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you to my new subscribers and to my old subscribers. Thank you for tuning in. Now today I'll be doing a hair series for you. I'll be showing, I'll be recreating my birthday hairstyle. My birthday, I celebrated my birthday last July 19th. And your girl turned big three zero. Yeah. So I'll be recreating that style for you today. I'll be showing you all the products that I use in my hair to get that style, to get the curls and to get that style looking so fabulous so before you even finish watching this video just click on the like button tell a friend to tell another friend share the video leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so so guys first and foremost i've washed my hair and i've moisturized my hair and oiled my scalp so my hair is all moisturized and ready to do my style after i moisturized my hair i did what is called the stretching method because i recently washed my hair my hair has a lot of shrinkage in it so i had to do the stretching method to sort of get it you know a little relaxed i don't use heat in my hair so i don't use any form of flat iron um blow dryer and even if i use the blow dryer i don't use the, the i don't use it on the hot um part i use it on the cold part so that you know i don't damage my hair because heat will damage your hair so i don't personally don't use heat in my hair i allow my hair i just allow my hair to dry naturally or i use a a towel and dry my hair so in order to stretch it out and get rid of most of the shrinkage i do this uh style that you're seeing right here looks a little crazy like you know back in primary school kind of something 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 but yeah that's what I do to stretch my hair. Okay, so let's get right into this hairdo. Now, before I get into the hairdo, I'm going to show you the products that I'm using to get that style nice and firm and, and such. And while I, you know, do my style, I'm munching on some diced pineapples, my favorite food. Mm -hmm. mm. very nice okay so the first product is tresemme I don't know if you can see uh oh I'm not sure if you can see but I'll I'll put a clipping up right somewhere up here to show you the products that I'm using. So this is the Tresemme conditioner. And all I do is I pour it in my spray bottle and put some water in it. Add some water to the conditioner, right? And I mix that around and I use it to spray my hair. I'll show you as I go along. So I use the Tresemme conditioner. You can use any conditioner of your choice, but the Tresemme conditioner is what I use. And then I have the Ors Moisturizer, the Ors brand Olive Oil Moisturizer, Oil Moisturizing Hair Lotion. It has castor oil in it and of course, you know, castor oil is very good for your hair. And then I have my oils. I mix all my oils together i have the african pride growth oil and this has in tea tree oil in it and olive oil as well and my black jamaican castor oil is in this and as well as the extra virgin olive oil so i use this to sort of 
or in my scalp and then I have my Indian hemp blue magic air oil that I use to oil the end of my twists I'll show you at the end of it at the end of the video I'll show you I use the blue magic air oil to oil the end of my hair so that it has this sheen and you know makes the curl really shiny and nice and then of course I use my eco styler gel you can use whatever styling gel of your choice I like eco styler some people says you know they don't like it it doesn't work for them but eco styler is my best friend you know when I'm catching my hair like in a sleep bun like something similar to this I use my eco styler and I, it makes my curls really laid and you know pop so this is what I use to sort of give it a sleek look so let's get right into the hairstyle okay so I'm just gonna pull this out I have my hair in one in a bun well, not really a bun but you know I just catch it in one and then I put some last elastics on the end of it so I'm just gonna pull that out pull this out okay this is my hair yes. so yeah I pull my hair out and I'm using this very big teeth Home to sort of hold it through because it's gonna be up there so I have to sort of pull the, the hair up. So I'm combing through my hair and I'm going to raise it up. If you have color in your hair this style pops even more. Not that if you don't have color in your hair it won't pop but it pops even more with color in your hair okay guys so now that my hair is up i'm just gonna go ahead and comb it out a little bit more because you want to get all of the hair as best as is possible then i'm going to take my brush and i'm just going to smooth out the back of my hair push it to the front so i can get most of the hair to the front and then now you can use probably a head, what do you call those things again? That elastic -y thing, headband. But I just cut one of my old stockings around the waist. Yes, it does the job perfectly fine. So I'm just going to use this piece of my stocking to pull around the parameters of my my head around I'm just going to use this stocking to pull around the circumference of my head pull my hair up yes and then I'm going to you can either tie it or you can either tuck it in. I'm going to tie it to secure to secure the 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 the, the catch. All right, all right. So there you have it. And of course, this could be a hairstyle if you love you know wearing your hair out. This could be a very nice hairstyle. Let me go ahead again and sort of comb it out. Yeah, get it all out. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spray it with my conditioner. Go ahead and spray it, spray it, spray it, spray it, spray it. Just keep it moist because you want when you twist it and put on your rods on it you get a firm pretty nice curl so you have to sort of 
moist over here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take a little part. Just gonna part out a small section that I'm going to use to twist and curl. So I'm gonna comb this out. So you want to ensure that whatever part you take out, you comb it out, get rid of the tangling. You want it as smooth as possible. No tangling. You want all the hair out so you can get the the, the, the length of the twist and so on. The twist, you can get the um the fluffiness of the twist and also the beauty of the curl when you put your rods on. Right, so I'm just going to brush this and then I'm going to be using my Indian hemp oil like I said previously to oil the end so that when the curl when it curls it has a nice sheen and it the curl also pops comb it again I'm just going to be twisting this, some soft twist. Give it some soft twist, not like rope twist. Some really soft twist. Should be spongy, fluffy, and nice. So this is what I'm going to be doing. Gosh, I'm sweating already. So look at the twist. Beautiful, spongy, fluffy, bouncy, and nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my curling pin on it. I'm going to be doing this. Curl it all the way up and then secure it. So when I'm finished with all of this, it's going to look like this. So guys, I'm almost halfway through this styling. And your hair doesn't have to be natural for you to do this style. You can, if your hair is processed, you can also do this style. You will just um, moisturize your hair. Um, you don't have to necessarily twist it. But you can twist it, of course. You can comb it out because your hair would have already been straight. So you comb it out like this and then you would wrap your uh, curling pins around it. Or you can still twist it and wrap your pins around it to get this hairdo. So I'm almost through with twisting. And I think I'm doing this a little bit bigger than I did it for my birthday um for no particular reason you can do it as big as you want to you can do it as small as you want it depends if you're home how many curls you know if you want the curls to be fluffy if you want it to be a lot or you just want you know just a small amount of curls it depends on what you want what you like what you feel comfortable doing so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish up this I'll come back and show you when it's all done and of course like I said I put the grease the oil my Indian hemp oil at the end so that the curl can be shiny and beautiful when it's done uh, while I finish up this hairstyle, uh, for those of you who follow me on my mental health channel, you would have seen my last video, you know, just giving you a life update, what is happening with the exuberant Tristan, and um, in that video, 
you would have noted that I, you know, spoke about my recent experience of, well, not my experience of giving birth, but the fact that I gave birth to my beautiful son, who is now about, you hear me, about. Anyway, who is now seven weeks old. And of course, you don't know, mom life mommy mode is fully activated girl busy like a bee taking care of her baby and all those wonderful things so yes i'm now a mommy yes and i'm so happy <laughs> yeah i'm kind of yeah still you know celebrating the birth of my child it's a beautiful experience it's a beautiful thing to finally become a mommy <laughs> so yeah guys just you know sharing that with you if you are not a part of my subscription list on my mental health channel please go on over there the channel is let's talk mental health if you type in the exuberant trust and you will see it come up just the same um and you can follow my content over on that channel is my brush to make this part really smooth and silky and nice And then I'm going to use my kerchief or you can use a scarf or whatever you use to tie your head, you know, to just tie down this sleekness and to give it that smooth finish. I'm just going to do this, tie it down, leave it for about... You want to tie it really tight so that it sets, so that when you finish, when you pull this out, you have a neat finish. So these should be curly and nice when I'm finished. I'm just going to leave it to set for about mm, 20 to 30 minutes. And then I want this part of my hair to dry because, of course, I use my conditioner water to spray the hair so it's a little bit moist. So you can use your blow dryer to just blow it so that it can dry faster but as i said before i don't use heat in my hair because heat damages your hair if you don't know what you're doing well i just avoid using any form of heat in my hair so as to prevent damaging my hair so i'm just gonna allow this to sit for like I said 20 to 30 minutes it doesn't have to be that long it depends on how long um, I think the longer you have it in the firmer your curls will be um, and it depends on you know when you do the hairstyle and when you want when you want the actual hairstyle for like for example if I have an event tomorrow and I do it today for the event tomorrow or if you have an event say today is what Monday you have something on Friday and you choose to do it from now like I said, the longer you do it, the firmer your curls. So, I'm going to allow it to sit for 20 to 30 minutes, but it depends on you, how long you want it um, to last. So, I'll come back and show you the finished product. So, guys. I've allowed my hair to sit and dry for 20 minutes. Well, I went over the 20 minutes, about 30 minutes. And now I'm just gonna let that out. And so you can see the smoothness right here. So I'll show you the back. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take out my curling pins. So you want to secure your curls so you just turn these out like this you don't unwind 
you see this the curl is still in place Go ahead and take them out. taking out all my pins and um, you can let it stay like this if you wish but then we're gonna pull them out to get some more fluffy curls look at that pull them out get more fluffy curls so we're just gonna pull the twist apart gently and we're gonna keep the curls in top This is how it looks. Oh, I have one more curl. I have one more twist right here. And I might miss a few. One or two. Yeah, no biggie. Alright, so this is like a small little, you know, curly bun. But then we can make it bigger if we wish. We can go ahead and pull these apart. You know, make it a little bit more fluffy. Yeah, pull these apart. It's a nice slide. You can see that their curls are falling a little bit now. Yes, look at that. You can see it getting a little bit more fluffy. You want to still keep your curls. You can pull them apart and damage your curls, but you want to do it gently so that you don't damage your curls. So you're just gonna pull your bun to make it a little more firm. Okay, and this is where the eco styler gel comes in. I'm just gonna go ahead. Mine is finishing, but yeah, the little that I have in it can work. You don't need a lot. All right, one, two, and I'm good. I'm just gonna, you know, 
that around my hip here to the back to the side if you feel like you want to make it if you want to use you know use them on that new right? I want a smooth nice silky look and the thing about eco styler gel that I love is that it makes my curls pop my curls pop so again I'm brushing that in gently because you want to have a smooth look smooth look at my curls they're still standing strong and pretty and nice you want to have that smooth finish you're just gonna brush it to you and brush in your gel could use a little oil on it too to give it that sheen I'm not gonna use any oil because my hair like I said before is fully moisturized All right, so I'm gonna draw that as tight as I possibly can not to hurt your head though All right. and I'm just gonna pull it out and as you can see my bun getting bigger and more fluffy I'm just gonna tie this to secure it tuck it in and there you have it so to get it looking even more fluffy you're gonna use your big teeth comb again and you're just gonna I have another twist that wasn't pulled out so you're just gonna pull it up like this with your pull up the roots the root of the twist or the curls so that you have this nice fluffy nice fluffy look so this is it guys maybe my birthday hairstyle was a little bit more curly but you can do it as curly as you want as fluffy as you want just keep doing this to get it more fluffy and full and round and nice look at those curls so this is the hairdo you do your nice makeup Put on your bed and put on your clothes and touch road. Cute, like wow. And this hairstyle you can wear it go anywhere. You choose where you want to wear this hairstyle. You know, it's very cute, very simple, not hard to do. And I can put some steps in the description box below so you can, you know, follow these styles. I'll definitely be putting in the description box below products that I use and um, and the steps of course to doing this cute hairstyle so guys if you like this video remember to like it share it, share it with a friend uh, leave a comment below tell me if you like this hairstyle and Tell me what other air styles you'd like to see and um, I'll definitely be doing some videos on natural treatments that I use in my hair like um, the aloe vera treatment, um, rice water treatment, avocado um, treatment. I'll definitely be doing videos on those so if you like my hairstyle just leave a comment remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so and guess what we're out